Sega. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> I hope welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Peace, my dear. Tim here at your service, and hello to Rayman! <laughs> yeah, hello Rayman64DS. <laughs> welcome to the show, and yeah, welcome back to Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War 2, Retribution, where, well, last time we got started with the Eldar, so, well, let's get started on continuing with them. <laughs> okay, I forgot yeah. I just called it Elves. Is that's basically what they are. <laughs> okay. Yes and no. No. Let's have a look. We didn't... Well, we didn't work on everyone's upgrades last time. And we do have one extra piece of gear. And one over here, but we can see... Oh, yeah. We can <laughs> do that one immediately. Uh, let's see. Raymond 64. It's been a while. I've been playing Pikmin 4. Okay. I, I played that one myself. I <laughs> I quite liked it. But yeah, how are you uh, doing otherwise? I seen a trail of it. And I got a uh, surprise uh, depicted. Still unsure. I'm still unsure about us streaming it. Maybe. Okay. Let's see. 14, 23. Hmm. You have more than enough energy or armor at the moment. Uh, let's give the healer some better armor. And. Yep, yeah, let's throw this out. Let's see, Rayman. It's fun. I just wish I could play the first two games. They, you can. I believe there is a trilogy pack of the Pigman games available on Switch or something. Hopefully. And uh, anyway. don't forget, I have some fun facts. Oh? Do you want to know the name of the ever first name Inquisition in the 40k? Go ahead. The, uh, just a claim. It was before 40k was called 40k. It was called Rogue yeah. Trader. The first Inquisition ever was named Obi-Wan Sherlock Cusu. <laughs> really? I'm not joking. Morning a report. That's the fourth time this week. We keep giving them dead air, and it won't be long before they decide to stop by. They gotta be wondering who's accepting their munition drops after all. They can fox every minute until doomsday if they please. We will not respond. You have heard the whispers. You'll know all Oak, the will, the voice. We are his now. He is here. Well, they have forsaken us. If they, if anybody wants these munitions, wants this meat, they must take it from us. Of course, of course, sir. For all care. While these primitives war amongst themselves, we have the option to strike and procure resources. And of course, the Eldar are going to be haughty about basically everything they encounter. Uh, yeah. Forgetting that that arrogance was what got them, well, kicked down to the curve in the first place. Yeah, also do remember, the species are over... As soon as a checkpoint tertius. All forces to arms! Gun them down! Bring their flesh to the keep! Old care shall feast this eve! 
Oh dear. I also say this piece is over 65 million years old. True. Uh, let's see. Trying to remember how the controls were again, or rather how everyone was equipped, because we lack someone specifically for anti-vehicle at the moment, I believe. So we'll need to keep care of that. Wait, did someone have grenades? Yeah, one, someone has haywire grenades, but I think it's, yeah, it's our sniper at the very back. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue. <clears throat> now let's see, Rayman. Uh, I can't because I live in the middle of nowhere. Don't have internet on my Nintendo Switch. Okay. Uh, let's see, fun fact, I can't be verified because I have another account lost in time and it used my current phone number. Okay. Okay, burn them out. Hmm. Yeah, and Twitch can be really obtuse about accounts and such. Mostly for security, but sometimes it's just to the point where you can start to think, why bother? Okay, meantime though, we've gone through this mission plenty of times, so yeah, let's just get through it, get our resources and see whatever else shenanigans these idiots get up to. And yeah, lack of uh, heavy weapons is really starting to show at the moment. Yeah. Can I just burn the door? Okay, I think that is actually damaging it a bit. Okay, Ronan, quickly get that over there, please. Give him a shield. Uh, never mind. Give Ronan the shield uh, then. Okay, I should have sent that out before sending him over. Hey, let's. Okay. You heal them. Yeah, like like I said previously, they are very fragile. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Elder was ogring in melee is a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Rayman, I wish there was a TF2 reference in certain games. What's your favorite game series? It can vary. Um, hmm. Let's see, my absolute favorite series. That would be a bit hard to call, yeah. Like, I, I like series like Pokemon, Metroid, and such, but to sp say specifically which would be my favorite is a bit hard to say. Uh, yeah. For now, let's get Even some I heavy weaponry. Like, I usually dislike when people ask me my favorite. It's just a struggle to answer for me. Okay, upgrade one of these to be anti-vehicle, and the other can be you know, remain anti-inventory. Okay, let's you know, slimmer it down. This down from the nineties. Um. Again, it remains a difficult question. Hmm. Is it you've allowed the invaders to remain breathing? They walk in the open, begging to be slaughtered. Manticore batteries, vengeance and I guess Mario could, could be would be a rather easy answer to it. But still, Mario is just a really good series for like 99% of the time. Okay. Team at your command. You move. Fire 
Yeah, we'll, because our because our units are so much more fragile, we do have to, we can't really brute force things as much as we could with other factions. Hmm. Luckily, we do have a more dedicated healer. Okay. We I thought I saw him go the gate. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> okay, for a moment I thought that ink was sitting on my bed, on my bed. Thank you for that mental image. Now I just matter you tying your own bed to your back. Good. Okay, where did that one come from? I just said that I thought one of the cats was on the bed, not on my yeah, back. Yeah, but you almost... You said that... Uh, I think uh, you said first that you thought Inky was on your back, then correct yourself to bed. And it was enough to make my brain get a weird mental image. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't need that much of a push for that, typically. For the good port and bad port, that is correct. I think I said that a few times, that having my imagination is a bit of blessing and a curse. Let's see, let's get some guardians. And also things that makes you concerned for yourself. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a bit of a push. Uh, and I can be wondering, I don't think I have, I did have any favorite game series from the 90s. Okay. I guess I like, yes, but as a series? No. no. Hello, Aspect Stone of the Striking Scorpion Shrine. Okay. Alright. Now, when we get here, we'll have to point ourselves outwards because we'll, we'll start on the ambush on us. And yeah, that's the Manticore. Yeah, I... I I think I really should swap out Kaled's plasma grenades for the haywire grenades because, well, she gets a whole lot closer. And, well, yeah. Valderic already has a sort of plasma grenade in the form of this. Ghost! Uh, I wasn't going to say anything. Right, uh, I would say those missile launchers, those manticore. You, you expect those missiles to be bigger boom and fly further. Yeah. Okay, get in there. Replica of Ulthamar. Okay. It sounds impressive. I just realized Ultramar and Ultramar sounds strangely familiar. What the heck did I say? <laughs> An attempt at similar? I probably actually merged two words into I. I meant to say surprisingly similar. Similar. Similar, yes. You're saying it more like you, you, you're you're putting more the emphasis on making it sound like Simeon or something. Similar. <laughs> okay. Similar. Uh, I, uh, I, I hope I get it right now. So I, I was actually struggling to say it for some reason. Okay. Oh, They're short on power with everything. everything. Rico, I'm not a actually. Oh? 
They used to be smaller, kind of that cheap, but also have a... Um, how do you, would you call it? A extra gun on their head. Really? A big one at that. Okay. We have a decently varied group at the moment. Even if we have to wait on these. Hmm. I should check what upgrade it was that we got for them. Okay. Burn that out, please. Yep, and ambush. <laughs> but then the ambush gets suppressed anyway. Yep. <laughs> Kayla is very eager to get into the fights, huh? Holy! Oh, yeah. Old Rage Club used to be smaller models. More, not a heavy infantry, more like. Well. More like light mech infantry, you could say. Okay, I, I think we're going to be waiting on them for quite a while, so I might, <laughs> I might not use them as much. Yeah, like they're all powerful, but yeah, the slowness is a concern. Hmm. Who was the one that was in front of the door? Let's uh, LM way here. <laughs> yeah, okay, this time we prevent them from oh. in front of the door <laughs> to get <laughs> it. The healer decided to move to the front on our own accord. I just told everyone to attack towards that direction. <laughs> At this point, I think I might as well send these idiots over towards here. And by the time we are done around here, they'll be they'll be arriving there as well. But we'll be catching up with them probably. Okay. that she was out of range for that. Okay. Okay, stupid pop-up in the corner, but that's not getting picked up by... Um, the monitor capture, apparently. Oh. Yep. Let's see how effective those actually are. <laughs> Someone's heading off for a different planet again. Been a while since we've seen that glitch. I missed that. <laughs> okay, ambush is done. Okay. Now uh, you lots run back for a second. And yeah, the raid the raid guard may be freaking slow, but they are very powerful. Okay. Uh someone capture that. And the rest can come join over here for the side objective. You lot actually keep pushing forward. You're doing really well. And apparently only slightly hurt. And regenerating at that. I still find it somewhat annoying that Nerd that Ulker doesn't have it doesn't even get subtitles 
when he was well the major <laughs> the major villain of the bleh, of a previous game. And see script of the Black yeah. Library and the Nemerian's legacy. Okay, finally they lost one commendation of something. Eden, okay. Continue to push. And yeah. Grab up some resources. And we push forwards. Hmm? was breathing. Okay. Uh, for more of good offer, I was paranoid. But every time I lift my headphones, they stop drilling. Until now. So I thought I was hearing things. Hmm. Let's just get some more guardians. Simple but effective. Burn them out, please. You grab that. Why yeah. should Eldor have a flamethrower weapon? Hmm. Yeah, I guess the shuriken cannons would uh, count as enough of one. Uh, you mean the whole part of uh, how fast they use the shurikens? The second. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me, do you remember I talked to you about the, the Tunis not having flame weapons either? Yeah. They do now. <laughs> okay, as if they weren't bad enough already. It's an alternative version of the Bio War. And however, apparently both versions have uh, something curious. This thing that looks like a spider is extremely stupid. Ooh. However. Yes! yes. Come on, believers! All care welcomes all! So much here. But yeah, apparently the cannons, the organic ones, have brains of their own or in all the ones. But yeah, their own guns be all the brainy ones, basically. <laughs> their, gu their guns are literally smarter than them. Yeah, and do all the fingers. So basically, it's a spider with a self fake intelligent flamethrower. Seeing that out loud sounds kind of terrifying. Yeah. But... I, know, I know smart guns are a trope, but not in that kind, I think. Yeah, no, not often you have a gun that actually has its own brain. I mean, this is more like a cannon. I, I can think of only one example that has similar, and that's in Fallout New Vegas, I think. Uh oh. Where it's literally just a gun with a... I think it's a minigun or something, with a, a brain and a case underneath it. What? That sounds... Um... Very Fallout. Yeah, but actually, yeah. I almost <laughs> went to Swedish there. Okay, we skipped over one fight a bit, but oh well. We have prevailed. Ah. Let's see. Swooping Hawk Shrine, okay. We're getting a lot Wait. of these. Wait, hmm. do we have Swooping Hawks in this game? I yeah, don't think so. These are more... Uh, yeah, to give Kaleth um, more abilities. Like, this one gives... It the infiltrate ability. Let's see. Mesh armor of Ulthwe. The Black Guardians of Ulthwe are known for their distinctive armor. Its black markings grant the matching their grim demeanor and determination to protect our craft world. Replica of Ultimar. 
One of the many staves built in the likeness of the powerful artifact wielded by the great forest seer Eldrar, uh, Eldrad Ultsrain, or Ultsran. Okay. Lecture of the library for the yeah, recycle for experience. The Marian's legacy. On kill target explodes in a burst of psychic energy, damaging and stunning nearby enemies. Okay, it's just it's a psychic sniper. This rifle was retrieved from Typhon following the death of the ranger Nemerian at the hands of the Blood Ravens. Though the ranger is dead, his spirit lives on in the waystone set in the stock of this weapon. A fusion gun of I-1 of Ilkaith. Fusion guns are heat-based weapons heat used by the Elder Analogous to the Imperial... Yeah, we've read that on the basics one that we got earlier, I believe. And commendation of Il yeah, I Iaden. Uh, okay, unlock next Wraith Lord upgrade. I maybe had the, oh, that, uh, that's a reward option uh, for this one. Oh, yeah, we have the Fire Prism and Wraith Guard squads. That were, let's see, grant the Wraith Bone ability, allowing Wraith Guard to regenerate health. Okay. I think it would probably be better to go for the heavy vehicle, though. Yeah. But still, Pathfinder's Long Rifle. The Ranger Long Rifle is complemented with a number of highly effective scopes and sights which allow the attacker to find any weakness in armor and exploit it to the full. Okay, would be nice, but we have better uses for, in for extra vehicles and such. Let's see, you, Veldoran and Elwyn. Hmm. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, this should be ranged as well, I think. So let's let's give that to you so you get out of melee for a bit. Because you tend to be the one going down the most. Armor. Yep, yeah, actually that one has just a bit more. Then again, 40 health. Give you that. Recycle that. Let's see. Yeah, Grants Infiltrate. Jump and Sky Leap cost 50% less energy. Okay, and the, these ones... Let's see. Increased yeah, damage versus vehicle by 50. Plus 20 ranged. And War Shout ability. Okay. Hmm. Actually... Uh, Something I probably also could do is remove those from you. And there, now you have both of those. Since, well, she, right here with Wally, she'll start throwing three of these around. Or at least with oh these. And, well, she's going to be the mo up front, yeah, most up front. So best to have her well equipped as well. And then again, there's these things. If what that is just plain better, give you. Oh, you're not leveled enough to use it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, he's. Well, he has one level currently to use, but I guess they might be one level away once you give it a point. Yeah, uh, he needs to be level seven. He is level five at the moment. Now, let's see. Hmm. I'm kind of forgetting what we were planning to go for with uh, with Ronan here. I don't. I think we weren't going for this because, well, we haven't been using it that much. It might be really good, but hmm. And yeah, most of these are yeah, just passives or with the uh, stealth. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's work towards an extra accessory. Not that we've gotten too many of them yet. <laughs> okay, upgrade your powers with that, and you get your full heal. Okay. Hmm. Anything else to do at the moment? Recycle that. And beyond that, I don't think we have much more to add here. 
So, on to the next. This is a transmission. Much good may it do you. Human communication technology is not far removed from shouting. <laughs> Priority box channel Secundus. Lord Ascendant, I lead the faithful assaulting Capital Spire. I am pleased to report that the Spire's defenders have fallen. They were unprepared for an attack from within. We shall hold the Spire and await your transmission bearing further instructions. Glory to the Ascendant. Glory to Korn. So then, Ronan, let us see how your mastery of subterfuge stands to solve this riddle with but one victory on Meridian. Even now, Kyrus's response is likely en route, but its encoding may not be as primitive and easily heard from afar. We strike here, at the source of the message. Slay them all. Then we wait, dutifully, for Kyrus's response to arrive. Hmm. Deviously efficient. Probable success. An immediate egress. Well plotted. We are fortunate your years of running have gifted you with some wit. Do remember your ancestry, Valderan. The only Eldar that live to this day are the ones who ran. <laughs> it's like you just gave the mage a burn. <laughs> that was the uh, longest briefing of, uh, well, our own characters talking in the game so far, I believe. Yeah, and they have to talk to each other. Okay, here we go. Mm. Well, they talked to each other before, but definitely we one or two, but we have three cats to talk to each other here. Yep. Assailants, push them back. Do not let them gain a foothold on the spire. Okay, you go capture that quickly. And I'll just set to get guardians. Okay, this point is going to be difficult in the corner. But it should be manageable. Especially actually with how how with how powerful the uh With how, with how much range the anti-vehicle version of the graph platform has, we might be able to snipe most of that stuff from out of range. But <laughs> <laughs> can't she just keeps flying in? Um. Okay, that does three birds now. <laughs> Hmm? Hey, those dogs may just do the truck it. Yeah. Open a box with air support and stand by. If they encroach the HQ, I want the sky to fall on them. This is not safe. I shall endure. Precious Eldar life has been spilt. Okay. I should stop the production of these here, though. Let's see. Powerful skimmer tank, uh, the powerful tank armed with a powerful energy cannon. Capable of unleashing a high damage focused bolt. For now. Yeah, uh, really, so more requisition. Okay, well. We can send these out to a uh, scout, quote unquote. Actually, with how Caleb can just jump in, she might be able to just firebomb the bunkers and herself. That'd be terrifying. Okay. Jump into there. Bomb that one. Also, I keep forgetting her shields is a thing. Oh, 
Okay, uh, this is the kinetic pulse is definitely good for disrupting specific targets like that. Right, of course, that thing drains energy, so if I want to use her grenades, I'll have to be careful with using it. Okay. I think I'll avoid the Wraith Guard for the moment because they are just so freaking slow. Yeah. Uh, try to get at least a tank. Oh. There. Okay, everyone bunch up a bit. I think Wraith will probably be better on some escort missions where we are not needing the speed to begin with. As much. Let's see, but we're here, out of requisition. Yeah. Here, I don't think we need them. Deal with that tank. One of you upgrades to anti vehicle. Why did it lock onto Caleb there when I was selecting the other one? Okay. forwards if we spread out then well the bombing run shouldn't be as effective this is a area. let's see if we can get the fire prism now this is yeah, that's really obvious Yep, yep. <laughs> and of course, Ellen Wake catches it. <laughs> okay, you lot rush through, capture the gates. Caleb, grab this. Is it just me, or does it feel like the, the four character is the one that gets the most hit by the enemy? Typically, they tend to be the ones more on the forefront and such. Actually, no. Yeah, I misheard you there. <clears throat> I think it just randomly picks a character. Maybe it picks him based on how on low energy or such. Okay, here comes the, pri the fire prism, having come the long way around. Okay, no, it, <laughs> the tank definitely does not have the lowest health, so I think it just picks him randomly. Nothing now, are we going us. to have another case where our vehicles are stuck behind a <laughs> behind a wreck? Nope, it just <laughs> goes right the hell over. <laughs> Okay, this thing can be, this thing can be switched. Uh, to, yeah, to, this is a switch, not an upgrade. So let's let's actually switch you over and see what that does.
Actually, you head over here for that instead, since that thing is about to break anyways. And switch to dispersed beam. Effective against infantry. Okay. Th that is nice that they can switch between. Okay. Uh, we don't need... We need to not forget that we can need to go after this thing for extra experience. So let's actually go do that. Ronan, no, no need to get into a cannon comparing contest. Okay. Get them out of there. Valkyrie is hot and on approach. Wait, doesn't that symbol over here? Oh. Okay, I must have accidentally selected one of the other uh, graph platform. You actually go retreat so you can heal. Then again, we could have... And that's been happening with vehicles here and there, specifically a lot with the orc ones. Another script. Now is the time. Be it ours. Observe us. The battle calls us. Okay. Yep, I completely forgot about you a lot. Uh, where is that graph platform? Where did it get killed? Uh, it's all the way back here. Okay. Mobilizing additional guardians. How many enforcements are here? Okay. Oh dear. And I think you forgot the box up there. Uh, yeah, you forgot a little thingy on the ground there. There. Okay. Now everyone just move the attack. Let's see. Let's get some more guardians in here. We can always use more cannon fodder. Where is their guardians have come afield? We trust in your guidance. As ever, we okay. The world. Actually, you I lot go retreats. Okay, everyone's stuck behind the fire prism. At least that means they won't go well get themselves killed by spreading out. Okay. Why are you not healing? Oh well. It's not like we need them. They would have been useful, but they're not uh, not necessary. Switch to anti-vehicle, please. Okay, let's clear that out, please. Okay, what just... Okay, that was not the fire prison that blew up there. Yeah, what did blew up there? Were you next to some barrels without realizing? Maybe.
I actually have the feeling that Kairos knew that they were going to get slaughtered there and was mostly using that message to lure in whoever's chasing after him. Yeah, uh, on the concert, I saw there was a gun on the ground. Okay, let me look at an item? <laughs> Maybe. Probably this one. Let's see. Barb of the Laughing Gods. Uh, Sagorak, the Laughing God, was the only one of the Elder Pantheon to escape the thirst of Slanesh after the fall. Gifted to one of his favorite Harlequins in the distant past, this sword marks the Ruinous powers. His stinging barbs cutting through the heart of chaos. It's a chain sword, okay. Wait, Did wait, he steal hold on. that? Consider what it said in the flavor text, it still had no bonuses against demons. Yeah. That's a bit weird. Uh, don't we all... Okay, we, no, we don't have to warp spiders yet. Let's see. Upgrades the uh, platform with a, a, to use a D cannon, but it doesn't actually say what that is. So I'm guessing that it's going to be like the other ones, where it won't deal any suppression damage, but it will deal more outright damage. Hmm. Not that mm -hmm. we've used that much either. Hmm. And the armor of Biotan. Uh, okay, 44 and an extra 42 on top of that, but less uh, movement speeds. Let's see, a marginally heavier make of Elder Armor originating from the warrior-centric culture of Craftworld Biotan. What, marginally? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say 80% is marginally heavier. No. It's minus 60%, not oh, down to 60%, so it's like only like 16% heavier. Oh, what is it, 18? All right. <laughs> but still... Uh... Hmm. Which of these do we grab? I guess the warp spiders? Okay. We, I do we feel we're probably going to end up... We have. It arose from Typhon. A curious choice of headquarters. Very well, we go. It is odd, you know. A mission occurred ten years ago that, if successful, would have made this endeavor impossible. Ulfwe's attempt to destroy Meridian? I had advised against it. It was far too risky an endeavor. Craftworld Ulfwe itself was in danger. The risk was necessary for the sake of the living. We... They have ever lived in the shadow of death. Countless Necron tomb worlds lurk in the spaces between stars. They are known as Ulfwe the Damned for more reasons than one. They have not the luxury of chasing prophecies for our dead. Despite your petulant insistence otherwise, what we do here is noble. You evidently know nothing of our fate beyond death. An Eldar dies. If she is fortunate, her thoughts and consciousness are gathered by the spirit stone she wears. If that stone is shattered, she is drawn into the warp. The great enemy Slumnesh claims her. Pronoun be silent. Speaking that name is profanity. She feels thorns pressed through her eyes, or a razor through her breast, or acid dripped into her ear. She has no body, but she feels it. Not for an instant, but every second, for centuries on end. Is that what I know nothing of, Caleb? Because that is what I see and what I hear every night when my eyes close. She screams and suffers because she trusted her prophecies and her kin did not. Her brother could not even. Farseer Taldea was your sister. She slowed the Blood Ravens as her war host fled. She fought for the living, now she suffers eternally. Oh, she might have been the one on the other uh, Dawn of War 2. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Elenway is still from another of the games, but I just forget where. Let's see. A bit, a bit strange that an Eldar would use a chain sword. Let's see uh, how this. Uh, actually, the striking scorpions are Eldars that use a lot of chain swords. Okay, 
Just just a little bit more um, refined compared to the Space Marines. Let's see. No need to go for that. And this is activating force shield. This person is a charge that knocks back. Okay, regenerates energy while the shield is active. That'll be useful. Yeah, let's work up towards here at least. Uh, let's see, for you, let's give you that extra accessory slot, even though we have nothing to fill with it. As for you, let's see. Hmm. Let's go here for a little bit. And then we... Um, lower defense, increasing the damage they take. Let's go with that one. Should be good against boss units as well. Now. Let's see. Second gift of the Art of, of the Ancients. It's a executioner for Kaleth. Singing Spear for Elenway. A staff for Veldron, or a shuriken catapult for Ronan. Okay. Hmm. Who would you oh. say to give that to? I'm curious what the sh shuriken catapult is. I'm going to presume it's one of their heavy weapons. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, he can hopefully off the next uh, battle use the sniper, but... They might need... Yeah, they might need that weapon. Okay, it'll be good to have someone with a heavy weapon anyways. That is something that somewhat, some, yeah, that somewhat annoys me, is that with some of the factions we seem to be getting far less uh, equipment drops and such. Mm -hmm. Let's give that to you. The keys of the young. The teachings of a dire, uh, dire adventurer, Exarch, known only to his kinsmen as the Young, has uh, ha have been both lauded and dismissed by many other autarchs. He clinically declared all combat to be merely a puzzle, that any uh, scenario or siege merely sat at a different place on a planar grid of challenge, and that within that most uh, ubiquitous of elder weapons, the shuriken catapults were the keys to unlocking those challenges. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this isn't actually it isn't actually describing it as a heavy weapon. But then Shatter again, Eldar. Damage. Let's see. Optional mission here. Next mission there. So let's get over here. Acquisitions to supply and grow our war host are of great importance to us, and this box indicates where we may find them. We found the power stations, boss. Should give us the juice we need to finish her up. And why are you here telling me about it? I told you to find them and to guard them. Even if the humans don't come to take them back, someone else might come nick them. We're supposed to just sit on them power nodes and hope a strap comes to us? Where's the fun in that? We only need them nodes long enough to finish building Daisy. That is when the fun begins. Only one option, okay. But it is a purple staff. <laughs> yeah, still old, but... They're not gonna turn down a good staff. True, and just plain experience. Hmm. <clears throat> Looks like a fire came to us after all. What? Well, keep them off the power notes. Daisy ain't ready yet. Forks. This shall be an ugly fight. Fork shooters. Like you'd expect anything else against orcs. <laughs> Okay, it seems to be working a lot more like the standard rifle. Now is the time. But getting Ronan up closer would be somewhat useful if we give some of the grenades back to him. Plus, he can still do this. 
How has this one been upgraded by that? Because with the emulator, it's very obvious. Okay, that didn't seem to be doing that much. Maybe a bigger area of effect. It emulates now calls down three rings of fire. Oh, yes. Okay. And um, don't forget. Oh, they blew up the box for us. Thank you. <laughs> Very helpful, orcs. <laughs> I yes, I was to tell you, don't forget the box and the orcs shoot it. There, the orcs just wanted to remind me as well. Okay, let's... There we go. Smaller forces are going to be better here, since, well, most will get, get slaughtered by Daisy at the end anyways. Okay. Another graph platform to deal with vehicles. Actually... This day, the Actually, now that I think about it, I believe besides <laughs> Daisy, there are pretty much no vehicles in this mission. Like maybe a truck or two, but no tanks or such. Yeah, you're right. And then we. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the one there. That was the uh, force shield blast when turning it on. And now all of them are coming out to play. Well, of course. This is crap. Oh, good crumping on all of them. He lost the graph platform. Okay. And of course the sniper goes down. And a lot of our infantry as well, I think. Yeah, one of them. Well, one squad was eradicated there. Uh oh, I wonder if she wasn't really on hell. Nope. Where are you lot going? After Kalith, of course. Okay, get rid of that thing. But, uh, yeah, I guess we now know why uh, Ronan is so ornery about everything, huh? Yeah. He's literally getting tortured every night. Okay. Capture this place. And then we hold it ourselves. Yep. Just a truck. Mm. Okay, maybe it would be better. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, once Ronin is level seven, we are going. We are giving him uh, back it, a sniper rifle. Yeah, it says. Yeah, he, he will then get the sniper rifle he can use. Weapons team at your command. We must away. Okay, and I just get a few more. something. Who? In old Warhammer, you had a rule of you could put. It, that you could uh, transport as many orcs you could fit into the truck. So basically and a clown then, car? 
Yeah, and one of the YouTubers tried that to see if they just made the square, but they, they actually tried out the rule a bit more, and I just... They ended up having like uh, 65 walks. So yeah, so yeah, they just oh, uh, monkey the the orcs together basically, just uh, like a puzzle on to on to the truck. Okay. Yeah, they just they just ended up having like uh, 65 walks, and I just that's work, not Tetris, but that's work. Yes, Tetris, Tetris. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that actually, actually, yeah, that's better to don't fit. But I was thinking about the game where you hang monkeys on each other. But that just looks like quite more fit thing. I think I, I know what you mean, but I don't think I ever really found out the actual name of it. The, the, the monkeys come in a bar barrel of sorts. Uh, I'm not sure. It's been a long time. I don't know if been several games with monkeys. I know I played one of them. Hmm. You love move forwards a bit. Okay, just. This is just an absolute killing field, but uh, the only things that are getting through are the heavy infantry. Like that one. It's too much blue light! <laughs> and each of those lights is so many shurikens. There comes a can, and here's the can opener. You have your help for a sec. Okay, I I might give him that last <laughs> the last skill. In his off well, in his offense line after all, since it just deals damage and nope, since it just knocks around in such a big area. Boys ain't got that no back yet. Fine, clear off. We just use the juice from the others to finish up. Okay, we can probably get no, a, a prison, a fire prison, with the remaining, <clears throat> with the remaining. Uh, the capacity that we have. <laughs> Just four cones of fuck everything in that specific direction. <laughs> There's another truck. <laughs> And he drove into the bunker. Okay, that'll that would be a bit of a problem if well they wouldn't cut down near immediately. Yeah. They... Oh god, I think I have a term here like my friends. Who? Yeah. They're being shredded like cheese. Oh. Yes, yes, very, mushrooms. very, very fine cheese. Yeah, the reason why I'm using the term is because, again, they're, fi they're firing tiny shurikens through these weapons. I thought it was a catapult or dragon or one that, that fired 200 shurikens per second. It's probably this one. The heavy weapon uh, variety. I need a double check, but if it's a regular one, what the heck, it's still fine. But that just means, yeah, yeah, if it, it is a regular one, then you don't want to guess how fast the big, better ones are. Yeah. 
Okay, that's also one way to just get all the boxes open, just freaking fireball them. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Now is the time. Departing. Fire prism is outfitted and ready. There we go. Where are you going? Okay, it is quite fun to just see four of these bulk up, plant themselves, and then just brrr, everything in sight. <laughs> Like, they, 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 they get the, suppressed near instantly. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to see what the upgraded version does. Yep, there's a tank. Perhaps the only one in the level. It's being shredded! <laughs> okay, you clear that out. You clear that out. And on the top light. And the only thing I'm lacking with these draft platforms is anti-heavy you know, infantry. Hmm. Okay. Everyone destroy that. Yeah, They're literally totally... getting knocked back by the massive fire. I'm starting to wonder if they even have something like a missile launch or such. I don't know, Tyranids recently got a quote-unquote missile launcher, which is just a big parasite down on the shoulder that shoots big bitty things. Of course. We shall find the appointed place. We shall not linger. Okay, where's the last of these? I would say it looks kind of comical for the missile launcher says on a gaunt. For some reason, they've designed it so their own miss organic missiles. It looks like it's almost twice the size as the wielder. <laughs> really? Come on. Boss, they got another power node. Oh well, that's just greedy, that is. Oh, I'm sending in the big dagger to take it back. Where is their neat venture <laughs> forth? Oh, gods. Okay, we should be set up well right like this. Like two graph platforms, the two graph platforms are looking either way, and the rest is in the middle here. So yeah, the only thing we really have to worry about are jumpers and heavy infantry. Like they they couldn't even get off the slopes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's some more Speaking boxes. of heavy. Oh yeah, you missed some boxes up there. I'll get it after we're done here. <laughs> and they are falling off the bridge. Hmm. I, I guess the answer to heavy infantry with this would be the damage but no suppression weapons. Also, oh, fuck everyone there, apparently. I, would, I think you might be onto something. Yeah, like, these do enough damage to just shred the normal infantry, but, it, yeah, I think that, I think the uh, damage-only cannons would be required to punch through the, well, the, the, the defense of heavy infantry. Yeah, so I guess next time we can get that upgrade, we probably may grab it. Yeah. Turn around, you fool. Okay, so I was wrong about there being only a few vehicles here. Let's see. War Spider Shrine. Okay. Now That'll probably time. change her jump into a teleport. Yeah, oh, there's oh, the we, we completely forgot to grab that one. To the fight. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, for now though, we have a weird boy to get rid of. Mm. Okay. Uh, in some, in a bit of unrelated news, uh, with, it has been forever since we streamed Minecraft, and I think at this point it would probably just be better to start a new world with that, which is Again. also fitting because uh, <clears throat> there's a new version of all the mods out, which even came with a light version, which, well, <laughs> which runs a lot more stable. Probably should have done this right after we passed through here, but oh well. But yeah, if we, if we go back to streaming Minecraft at times, we'll be using a, a new mod pack with a new world. I can. I, think, I feel like it's to be almost each time we start Minecraft again after a long break, we end up do, using new mods, the mod, the mod 7 again. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Okay, that's a bit of a bad path to retreat through. Okay, refill you. Actually, attack move. Yeah. Of course, the weird boy is causing a lot of knockback here. Okay, burn those out. Can we actually knock him? Yes, we can knock him around. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing he's breakdancing. And then, well, he broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be honest, if, a, if an orc were to break dance, they would likely just break everything in their surroundings. Yeah. Oh, gods. <laughs> oh, gods. Okay. I remember, again, a book in a comic who had who been sitting a bar for the over a week to trying to order a drink it is the appointed hour to leave yeah, this, this. no one saw him for he was painted purple and for orcs purple is sneaky yeah <laughs> okay we might lose the prism emphasis on might But when we get this, we can just call in some guardians to repair it. But then again, with, when facing Daisy, we don't want that many units to begin with. Because then it can just go after each and every one of them. Wouldn't a lot of fast units be good, since we would have easy attempts to just move aside and load them into the barrels? Probably. But even then, it's... It would just choose randomly between them. So yeah, let's just go take on the fight like this. Then there goes the prism. Okay, clear this out. Let's upgrade two of these to anti-vehicle. A bit late for that, but still. We'll probably need some of it to deal the last bit of damage to Daisy. Okay.
No. Who is it going to target? You will not move aside. There's still the ads to be dealt with here, but they're not too big of an issue. <laughs> this remains stupid. Stupid fun, but stupid. <laughs> over there. Okay, that should be good enough to hit it. Yep. <laughs> we are still... Okay, we are still dealing decent damage. But that's just because of the sheer amount of fire that's getting poured into this thing. Holy! Plus, I, I think, I think with every barrel we run it over or we lure it over, we actually lower its armor. Possible. Be a reference. Maybe. Either way, we put Daisy well under the daisies. <laughs> Come on. Let's see, ruins of the Harlequin grants the ability to confuse an enemy squad, causing it to recklessly attack anything nearby for short periods. Okay. All right. Uh, warp spider upgrades. Idrinel's lament. Parser Ildrinel bore the spear until her death by the Blood Ravens of Meridian. It is said that in battle the spear sings a lament for its former mistress and the sacrifices she made to defend the craft world. And Warp Spider grants the spider's brood ability, channels the knowledge of the webway of the, warp sp of the warp spiders, and runestone of the crone worlds. Oh, okay, plus 25 heal, uh, health regen and 2.5 energy regen to all nearby allies. Uh, the Pathfinder Nereen was one of the few Elder to have explored the Crone Worlds near the Eye of Terror and returned alive. His story is told of once beautiful verdant worlds uh, which he saw reduced to flaming hellscapes, and the precious artifacts he liberated cor uh, corroborated this tale. I'm guessing that's going to be an item for Kaelith. Oh dear. And yeah, we get ourselves a big stick. This Wraithbone Staff is studded with several spirit stones, known as the Tears of Isha, containing within them the spirits of some of the most powerful and revered Elder Seers of ages past. Let's see. Regain health and energy on hits, and a, ch a chance to regain health when hitting melee. That is going to be for you, of course. <clears throat> Aelith. And, yep, yeah, it's... Oh, wait. <laughs> For the... Mm? Oh, anyone can use this one. Okay, then all the better to have the healer have an, a healing aura, huh? Yeah. Let's see, well, Ren, how does this tab compare? It's a bit less, but... Oh, well. Turn that one away. And levels for everyone. So, let's see. We won't be able to get Sky Leap. We can get it probably up to here. Hmm. I'm thinking we get Ferocity, and then in this line we go to here. Hmm. Then, actually, it doesn't say whether this is... <clears throat> yeah. When jumping into combat, Caleb boosts the combat effectiveness of nearby allied units in addition to healing them. Does that mean when she jumps or when she lands? Hmm. 
Okay, at the very least, let's grab that, and maybe we'll grab Illusion. For now, we can we can get up to here, but I'm I'm unsure on it because of the wording. Uh, no new weapons for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sniper uh, boy will, he should be able to get something new now. Yep, he can get a better sniper. Hmm. Let's not recycle it, but I don't expect to be using it much. Let's see. Hmm. Again, the, th the problem with sniper characters is that they, a lot of these skills often rely on infiltrate, and we hardly ever make use of that because, well, the sniper is going to stick at the back of the line anyways. So what use is it for them to be you know, stealth and <laughs> them? Yeah, let's yeah, grab that one all the same. I don't feel like we have, have, have had too much use for stealth. Like, there's only maybe one or two missions we could sort of stealth, but... Yeah. Hmm. Actually, what exactly does this do? Spiders brew it. Teleport in a war spider squad to the targeted location. Okay. I thought it would be more like turn her leap into a teleport, but no. Hmm. Yeah, she just has a hell... <laughs> I think she has the most commander items out of every uh, faction so far. Yeah, do it kind of make sense? Hmm. Do... It would be nice to be uh, able to upgrade so we can hold more of the commander items. Uh, just... more than just one. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get you this at least, so you'll be able to heal and shield more. Let's see. Da -da -da. Ethereal Slash. We haven't. We've hardly used that, mostly because, well, now he's actually more at the back line. Uh, hmm. Okay, that'll be that. So. Let's head on to Typhon. There are no signs of activity at the source whatsoever. Something is not right. It is no doubt a trick. Perhaps a diversion or perhaps an elaborate trap. Most odd is not the possibility of a trick, but the quality. I would expect this of Eldar perhaps, but certainly not of humans. We must proceed with utmost caution then. Warriors, we must be at our finest. Okay. This is going to get awkward. Pretty sure we've seen that shrine in a few cutscenes here. Yeah. On the move, ready for battle. Actually, isn't that that might Hail be no, actually no. You are expected. Please come with me. There is an urgent matter. Oh, you you intend to what manner of treason is this? False luck, a seer is with them. Eldron? Can I see shelter? Forgive me, Artok. Warriors of Bealtan, attack! Destroy them all! They must not disturb the ritual. Yes? Wait, what? I have unburdened us of their infantry. Now is the time. We are superior! I... am very unaware they were infighting between... here is thick with ritual. It clouds my powers of vision, but up close, his purpose was clear. They mean to slay us all. 
Surely these Eldar are not our kin any longer, for they aid Kairos now. We must stop the Council and its ritual. Additional requisition needed. Okay, this feels weird. We lack nothing but a foe. We shall destroy it. Seems like uh, Elder Arrogance is going to get themselves killed again, huh? Wisdom is the winner. On the move, ready for I don't know if I talk Eldor, but there has been enough cultural split. But I don't recall them fighting Elder Eldar Croft worlds. I have unburdened us of their infantry. Uh, this is a case of one side refusing to communicate and the other one more drawing to conclusions that well are logical in the moment because well they just tried to assassinate them please understand Artok. prophecy has shown you bring with you death the thousands of spirit stones buried here outweigh your life we too have come to preserve the craft world stand aside immediately or accept your demise you must have been misled. Your prophecy must be some trick. You are pawns of the Blood Ravens chapter, Master Kyrus. It matters not. Your forces are limited. So long as our webway gate stands, we will bring forth mighty Wraith Lords to aid us. A hollow fielded webway gate nearby. They will undoubtedly call reinforcements. I suggest we disable it quickly. This is a there. Get those haywire grenades in. Okay, that, that's the way that the warp spiders are supposed to be used. Ambushing vehicles, not specifically just ambushing. Okay. Well, the round clear that out, please. Can someone capture that? <laughs> also, that that rifle has quite the impact, huh? Holy! You, you might want to step away from that. I don't think you need precognition to notice, <laughs> to know that that's going to hurt. Keep pushing forwards and get rid of that thing. It's not like we're, it's not like they'll actually manage to out attrition us, but still, let's just get rid of it. Okay. Get that. Get those. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I was <laughs> I was thinking of just dropping one of the fire abilities on that, but <laughs> that didn't prove to be necessary. Okay. <clears throat> and a tank. Their sights are set on me. We actually have a bit of a check. Let's see, elite infantry equipped with teleporters, patched use. Yeah, it doesn't actually say what the warp spiders are strong against, though. I have unburdened us of their infantry. I'm, I'm going to presume that they are similar to the other jumpers and that they are good against, oh, yeah, good against infantry with uh, an ability. <clears throat> With an ability that's strong against vehicles. Okay. For now, though, 
Let's capture this and yeah, continue the tragedy. Okay, that one has been enhanced quite a bit. Holy! Immer orb. Alright. Okay. Going to guess that that's an accessory. The CS marked that requisition point as Then Rodin is finally going to be able to carry stuff again. Okay. Break those. We must away! Now, let's call in some reinforcements. Um, let's, let's get an actual Wraith Lord. Another Wraith Guard, a Wraith Lord. And may as well get some Banshees. Okay, I need... <laughs> Definitely a better choice, since they aren't as slow as the Wraith Guards. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're just going to push through here and try and grab them whilst they're there. So I get the feeling the game is set to always let them get away at that first spot. Hmm. So one thing we could do then is just keep everyone parked here and send the war spiders over to go annoy them <laughs> and teleport over here. We have done that before. Yeah, and is it being obvious? Shredding through them? Basically, yeah. Enemy movement. Ow. Okay, one thing that, one problem that the AI often does with the war spiders, I think, is that they jump in too close, which typically, yeah, brings them into melee unless it's against a vehicle. You sure you want to go in there? Oh dear. Okay. Let's call in some more uh, some more banshees since they're melee experts and such. We we must we shall be their babe. Our swords are keen and our souls are prepared. Okay. And once they start teleporting over we just well move control <laughs> we just move our focus back here Spin, there goes the autark i will move the console to safety hold back the tide brothers do not let these invaders find the console again the council is relocated. I will update their whereabouts on our artifacts as soon as I pick up their scent. Pretty sure they put on a, a different track for this mission. A lot more of a somber one as well. Yeah. Then our heroes down, I realize. Uh. And that's that, I think. Oh, oh, they actually managed to jump away. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I killed the Autark. 
maybe just maybe actually just at the same time that the he completed the teleport or something uh, oh you mean the exarch yeah maybe okay. i must blaze a trail Okay. Yeah, definitely a superior version over the Wraith Guards. Yeah, much better to give him the sniper rifle. I know the sniper is in reach four and hits hard, but... This is something else. If you look at that sniper, you shoot them the power of a damn cannon! Basically. Okay, that's only this one remain alive a bit. Really? <laughs> that's our third global power? Let's see. Shining Spear Shrine, increased melee, uh, uh, increased combat range, uh, charge range, and movement speed up. Okay. Channels the blinding electricity of the Shining Spears. And the Shimmer Orb, grants ability Shimmer Orb. Okay, on the nose. Throws an orb that protects all units inside it from ranged damage. Units in inside the orb are unable to fire their own ranged weapons for the duration of the effect. Okay. Uh... And um, power sword of same Han, or same Han, or something like. Seeth in a sparkling power field, this sword can cut through any soldier's armor, uh, armor, effective against infantry and heavy infantry. And it's for Kalith only. And aspect of the Dire Avenger plus twenty-five damage resistance. Okay. Ah. Huh. I'm a bit split on the orb, like, sure it has its uses in an emergency, but I get you not count attack back. True. Let's see, black catapult, suppresses, wait, is this actually a heavy cannon one? Let's see, the black guardians of Ulthwe stand ever vigilant against the craft world's enemies. As the primary defenders of their embattled craft world, the black guardians are equipped with the finest shuriken catapults available. Hmm. Or is this is it just for this one that it suppresses? Hmm. It's otherwise Wraithbone Synergy grants the Wraithbone ability allowing Wraith Lord to regenerate health or extra health for the fire presence. Which would you say? Oh uh, poof or oh, good. Do I do suspect we're gonna use the fire prism? More. True, since it's ranged and all. And okay, nothing to say about that, any of you. Anyways, new weapon. You keep your same stuff. Hmm. What kind of books do we have there? I see those are just for experience. Hmm. Alright. I, w I would use these if this one wasn't just so freaking good with <laughs> already. Yeah. I was at these people. Immune to knockback and suppression immunity is like, surprisingly needed since there are so many things that we just threw you around. Hmm. Yeah, we, hmm. I think some of the development of all the stuff for the Tyranids... Uh, or, actually, I, I think a lot of the developments for this faction went into these things, which means we have a lot less other stuff to actually use as equipment. So that's a bit annoying. Hmm. Yeah, like, at least give us more... 
slots to use them in. More Eldar blood spilled in the name of a prophecy. Will there be no end to this mockery? You are no seer, but I am. Our visions are complex and branching, but this contradiction is utterly impossible. We must proceed with utmost caution, then. Warriors, we must be at our finest. We will return for their soul stones once our task is completed. Uh, about oh. that. I guess that's uh, what they had to say about that uh, thing. Yeah. I think they're going to very much regret that fight just before. The obscuring effects from the ritual of our... our kin. It is slow to dissipate. I cannot yet pierce it. But I can. <sighs> that voice! I am Azariah Kairas, Chief Librarian and Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens. I suspect you may have heard of me. Show yourself, beast! It is only a matter of time before we find you! Our kin whom you deceived into aiding you, they are dead! Oh, but it is you who have aided me. You've slain more of your feeble kind than you realize. You see, the ritual you interrupted was preventing me from guiding the Exterminatus fleet to this sector. Guide the Exterminatus? It comes for you and your slaves, yet you wish it to happen? Why? A sacrifice. A sacrifice of a sector, its planets. It's billions of skulls to the Chaos God of Blood and War, Korn. Take comfort, Ronan. The spirits of your buried craft world will be consumed by him rather than Slonesh. My name? How did you know my name? Oh, after my Blood Ravens conquered Cronus, I oversaw the interrogation and execution of Farsia Taldir. She must have mentioned you. No, not like that, not by you! For what it is worth, I understood all too well her woe of brotherly abandonment. But you may rejoice. The Exterminatus fleet now looms over you and your misery is about to end. We have arrived, and it is now that we perform our charge. In fealty of the God Emperor, our undying Lord, and by the grace of the Golden Throne, I declare exterminatus upon the Imperial world of Typhon Primaris. I hereby sign the death warrant of an entire world and consign a million souls to oblivion. May Imperial justice account in all balance. The Emperor pretends. Okay, they are really going to be kicking themselves once they're out of this. Yeah. Oh, dear.
And it, yeah, apparently, Grodin is going to have an extra sharp bone to pick with Kairos after this. Hmm. Seriously, swift movement as an upgrade, or as a global ability, that comes across as really weak to me. It, it, it kind of makes sense. Yes, it does feel like one we may not have so much use over on the many levels. Yeah. Maybe it'd be useful here, but we still need to fight our way. It's only temporary. Like, this, this feels like it should have been the first one or something. But the yeah. turret is always the first one. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I, I guess where the Eldar got an extra got extra effort in the story, they got shafted in their abilities and gear. Yeah, I may have to agree. And of course a future oversight. If you lot that way, Payless is going to break some boxes. Okay. This is actually working out pretty well, like a fast firing sniper that stuns and just two mages just casting psychic bolts into the midst of them. Yeah. I'm thinking about giving him a spear again, just because his abilities have just been upgraded so much. Blade of Cronus? that please and yeah there isn't really too much more to talk about since we've gone through this uh, <laughs> a good amount of times already yeah and i have not been able to watch too much elder lore videos but they're all around yes but not as large amount as a uh, imperial god space marine especially space marines it's kind of ridiculous when it comes to space marines Okay, game got deselected again for some reason. Uh, keep up. <laughs> you may be the healer, but I should say you should fall behind. Because a healer that falls behind typically gets slaughtered. Uh, I've actually looked up Green Dog Narrator, but they seem to have a lot of uh, Eldar videos. Okay. So, they, they are good, just... They are sometimes a bit fun, hard to listen to. In what way? Like, a voice that isn't really too enjoyable or something else? Sort of? I don't know if it... If, I don't know if it's the mic quality... Oh, mannerism speak like they, they're all doing good job but there's something I, again i don't know if it's an accent the sound for you what that makes it a bit odd to listen to but i do have noticed has been a little bit easier with his newer videos it might just be that they, they are still on you street perhaps you lowly vermin truly think to escape Ungrateful scum, squandering Lord Kairos' gift of a glorious death! Pay your penance in blood! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! For war, as in all things, I... Okay. Time to get stuck in. In 
And... Hmm... Yeah, probably just grab platforms. Yeah. Uh, we saw how effective like, those could be. Uh, I, 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 I do like access people. Uh, I don't have issue with accents. But if it's an accent I'm not used to, it would take me some time to get used to it or uh, to understand it a little bit easier. If that makes sense. We're just bringing Gatling guns to a fist fight, huh? Yeah. Because, yeah. I think I'll be watch some Dream Dog narrator before next time we stream this. See if I can gather some more Eldon lore. Again, YouTuber is good. Just sometimes hard to understand what they say. <laughs> Stay with some rare exceptions, but I don't know why I struggle to watch them at times. But they, they are good. Hmm. Maybe, maybe if you would give them a watch as well, Hilly, and you maybe see, see what I mean. Okay, yeah, you could you could send the link over you know, the, a link over Discord. The link, what? Okay. Uh, I guess it is. They are the only one called Green Dog Narrator. And it'll make me it, it easy to find them at least. Again, they are good. They are good. Because I'm unsure what it is that makes me rarely watch them. Look, again, the latest video has been easier to watch. You pull back. None shall escape the sacrifice. You are no match for Eldar Knight. <laughs> okay, all of you focus on the champion. Then the, the champion just beat those two into the ground. Energy shields, I'll take that. Okay, now we're getting a lot of loot, mostly because we're just killing a lot more. Uh, is it... how much time do we have remaining? Uh, we'll probably... Uh, we'll, we'll have to end it off. Actually, five minutes extra because of the late start. Uh, but I don't think we'll be able to get another mission in, so... Yeah... Probably end it after this one, then. You go pick those up. And I've lost... Oh, there they are. Yeah. He's chasing after a graph platform. Okay, Ronan. Retreat quickly. Actually, let's try out this singularity thing. Okay, so it, th it literally throws everyone around. Okay. Oh, you realize this is probably the worst level to bring out the Wraith Gods. That'd be way too slow. Definitely. They would work in this bit, but nowhere else, really. Yeah, I was actually clicking outside the game myself there. And of course the seer is the one running the fastest. 
Okay, he, he is really attacking fast with that. Yeah, holy. And actually a, a, a spot where this is of some use. If we get the opportunity to grab the D-Gun again, I will grab it, but we might be past the point where it would be offered as a, an option. But we'll have to see on that. Let's see, Warp Throw. Okay, so basically Force Push. Let's see, Blade of Cronus. Uh, this Witchblade was found during the Spirit Stone recovery undertaking on Cronus. Scarring along the blade is consistent with that on weapons used in battle against Necrons. Uh, Spirit Stone of Farsight, movement speed and sight range. A precious crystal that grants a psychic link to fallen ancestors. Executioner of Biotan, a deadly spear crackling with energy. Many exarchs of the Howling Banshee aspect have carried this feared weapon. The energy shield, okay, it's a spell, it, it's, okay, it's an ability for Ronan or Kaleth. Deploy an energy shield which protect infantry behind it. Uh, I hope it's stronger than the one that the Guardians can put up, because those tend to, va <laughs> to vanish in seconds. And the accelerated Shuriken Cannon. Shuriken weapons are, I think I've read that already, yeah. It's just a basic one with an extra trait. Yeah, the, the Guardian Shield thing is, even if you only lost a few seconds, those seconds can do enough uh, help. It is human nature to seek culpability in a time of tragedy. It is a sign of strength to cry out against fate, rather than to bow one's head and succumb. Inevitably, many shall fault the hands upon the sword which fell Typhon, the Ordo Malleus. But the Inquisition merely performs the duty of its office. To further fear them is redundant. To hate them, heretical. Those more sensible will place responsibility with those who forced the hands of the Inquisition. With some fortune, they may foster this hatred into purpose and further rule their own fate by coming to the Emperor's service. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion with a single blow from my hammer, God Splitter. Okay, let's see. Rune armor of Maka. Let's see. This wraithbone rune armor, etched with wars to protect the wearer from harm, was born, uh, was worn by the forester Maka of the Beeltown Craftworld. Though she cast aside this armor after failing to prevent the release of a terrible demon from the maledictum on Tartarus, it retained a, its protective enchantments. Okay, been a, <laughs> it's been a while since we've heard from her. Yeah. Um. Hello. Uh, there's the D cannon. Okay. Well, let's let's at least give the people their upgrades. And uh, yeah. Is this? Let's actually see. Is that? Okay, it's not an activated ability. I do like it. I don't think I've really spoken of it before, but we can undo the points we spend until we leave the screen, I believe. So. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep that one. Next one, we'll grab Illusion, see how that goes. And lastly, we can get Vigor to, well, <laughs> so she can throw around more grenades without needing a recharge. Ronan. Actually, this would be useful for you. Yeah, um, and it makes sense. 
he runs faster and see further. This is probably damn good when you have a sniper rifle. True. Hmm. Yeah, let's just work up here a little bit. Veldron. Uh, recharge energy at the cost of health. Vigor can equip an additional <clears throat> accessory. Hmm. Let's see, warp throw. Let's actually work towards that so we can have another spell. For now, let's give you that give that to you. Um let's swap that out with the energy shields. Um doesn't deal more damage. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, we <laughs> I was talking about throwing you back into melee, so might as well give you the new blade then. Which does, let's see, 77, yeah, it deals more, you know, equal damage, but it deals more to specific types. Hmm. It's, that's the timer going. Okay. It's on hit, hit units near the target. That could actually be stronger, because it basically makes it a bit of an AoE. Let, let, let's actually yeah. give that back to you. That might actually be a lot stronger than I thought. And let's get a Lenway something. <clears throat> um, well, the other ones seem to do more damage against heavy infantry. Okay, we're keeping you out of combat, so you are not getting that thing anyways. Um, and we'll, we'll have to see how that goes when we stream the game. <clears throat> when we stream the game again next week, or maybe uh, on an open spot. For now, though, save and return to main menu. Yeah, we'll have to call it here for this. But before we end the stream, we are, of course, going to look for someone to raid. So let me remove the always on top on this and change the screen share over to the... the, the to, <clears throat> Change the screen share over so Drakir can see as well. Let's see. We've got a good amount of people online, but not enough for it to, well, <laughs> show more. Or at least no, the, the button is still here, but there's no not there's no more people active than it actively shows here. Let's see. From the bottom to the top, we have Dr. Mason Lestert, who is playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Doug Douglas McDog is playing Silent Hill 2. Moonrise is playing Little Company, modded apparently. Sour Walrus is playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth. First time we've seen them play a Doom game. They've been playing mostly Valheim lately, I think. Yeah. Ruffle Raccoon is playing Resident Evil. WBPL is streaming The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. K9 is streaming a game called Tiny Rogues. Can't say yeah. I recognize that, so let's take a peek. Wait. I'm pretty sure we see them. Uh, someone has played that game uh, before, but we didn't inspect it. Okay, well, they're on a BRB anyways, it seems. Gracious the Dwarf is just chatting. Let's see. Dwarf Dad teaches chat about life. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Any of those, or should we look for someone new to write? Hmm. That's a good question. I would say, can I? But they are B or B, so. Hmm. Let's see. In the recommended channels, we have Horn Frog playing Silver Chains. Can't say I know that. We have Sunbeam Streams, who is playing Crash Bandicoot 4. Dynalope playing Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Uh, Moss Moria playing The Sims 4. Miss Loon playing Pal World and Sky Lord Zoe playing Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet. Any of those sound interesting? Or shall I take a pick of well, everything? Uh, I will let you take a pick. Uh, let me take a okay. peek at Dynalope then. Okay. Let's give them a raid and see how that goes. 
Yeah, it's been quite a bit since I actually heard about Castle Wolf uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Okay, now slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Rayman64DS. Uh, any lurkers? Oh, hello, Tatum. It's been a while since you've lurked. Hello. <laughs> and yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I'm a bit unsure if to stream again today in the evening, which would be in about three hours, just a bit under that. Uh, I'll, I'll talk with the roleplay group I have, you know, who's... Yeah, the, I'll, I'll talk with the roleplay right. group, which I'm a part of, that's, well, has their things on Saturday evenings at the same times as we would be streaming. Uh, if it's a good point for me to return into it, uh, then sadly no stream. Uh, but if it's not a good point, then let's see. Cleo? Cleo would be nice. Okay. And yeah, I'll have to see. It is likely that at some point we'll just stop with the Saturday, uh, with the Saturday evening streams if things with the uh, roleplay group remain stable. But yeah, we'll have to see about that. I'm not really thinking about putting in an extra stream spot since... Well, we're already streaming eight times a week, so that's more than plenty already. And that's not even counting in extra streams. Yeah. We may be <clears> moving <throat> around, maybe, if possible, but again, not set in stone. Yeah. Actually, it's more like six times a week with two optionals, but still, that's plenty of streams in a week to go with. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, for now, though... Uh, let's get that raid started. There. Okay, no block. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls. And chaos seagulls, especially. Oh, gods. That'd be horrifying. <laughs> <laughs>